It's the time for mm, Pick It From China. <laughs> so I'm not afraid to say that the new year is going to be the year of the game plug and play devices. And the reason I tell you this is because there are so many of these freaking bloody things. Oh, we started off with the special super console X stick and many other ones. But now my friends, it's time to review here the 4K HD Pow Kitty. It's awesome that you're tuning in and this video we're going to do in testing and we're going to have a lot of fun with this 4K HD video game machine from Pow Kitty. I think it was the PK08. Yeah. With these plug and play devices, what you're going to get is just like a plug and play device, but complete with controllers and all the functionality that we're going to need for playing some games. Support up to four to five. What they mean with this, I'm guessing you can use four controllers. They come with two of them that are connected with 2.4 gigahertz. On the box itself, not a lot of information, so let's start it with opening it up. Because I'm curious, what are we going to get? Oh, just great. So they're saying on the box, freaking 2.4 gigahertz, but there are like wires controllers with this thing. Oh boy, this makes no sense. But how are these freaking controllers? They look kind of cheap. Oh boy. Ooh, it feels really weird. First thing, smell test. Ugh. Ugh, it's more like somebody took a diarrhea and shit it all over this controller. That is how it smells. But the D-pad itself, or it's not really a D-pad, more like these floating D-pads. And I'm curious how this is going to play because this is most of the time not a bad thing. The joysticks feels like a kind of weird rubbery sticky compound. It weighs almost nothing. The form factor itself, it's similar to the PlayStation 2, but not of course the same. There were USB connections, so yeah, that's that. Like, I hope I've got some wireless versions. Yep, we're going to get an extension HDMI cable, micro USB, and we'll show you later why. And the extended toilet paper manual deluxe edition, and this is how you need to assemble it. Yeah, that's it. But we can figure that one out myself. The dongle itself, I want to say the form factor. There's another thick one because they are like super wide and the problem is if you want to stick it in most of the time you can't because they are too thick for the hole where you want to stick it in or another thing is like it will cover up like other HDMI connections. I do like how it looks, it looks kind of cool. I think it has like the logo of Pau Kitty by the way. I don't know if you can see it. It's more like the smiley. I need to have like a white mark so I can put a smiley face on it. But an overall like 4K, what they mean with the 4K is more like it has some support for 4K, but it doesn't have the signal output 4K. I think most of the time it's like 1080p if you're lucky. Here we're going to get two connections or the USB 2.0. Hmm. And of course they put in seal on the SD card because you don't want to break the seal. But let's plug it in and uh, let's have some fun. Oh man, I was messing around with this for like 20 minutes because I couldn't get it to work. So the thing is like if you don't have enough juice from your television or the power supply, yes yeah, seriously like a power supply is not good enough, this system will stuck in the intro boot. Another thing it can also be is like when the SD card is sealed, more like sealed my ass, because also this thing wasn't assembled. For me it was, was like a combination problem. But huh, finally after 20 minutes we can continue making this video. Let's go. So for the people not familiar to Pau Kitty, Pau Kitty is a company that makes a lot of different devices or relabeling a lot of different devices. Okay, here we're going to get game, movie, search, theme, settings, image, file and history. So let's check out the settings. Language. They did fix the English and the typo version. Okay, handle selection. We're having different, I'm guessing there's controllers. Display. The fun fact like we're having express ratio option over here. Yep, we have this. Let's go with the flow, connection, handle computer, I don't know what it is, because they are using the same exactly software with all the other devices. Because with the other devices we have the option to use it on television, because this is just basically a dongle. MX-322, that is the original model, and it seems to me that this thing has been produced in 2021, so it is actually like a brand new product. Quite interesting, so we're having movies, and search, yeah, okay. So. Let's see, we can search in the folders. Oh, indeed, indeed. 
So you can see that we already have a link on a different version, but it doesn't say which platform it is. So in my opinion, it's a little bit of a bummer. Let's see what we can check out with the theme. Oh, it was just more like a background. Hmm, I like this one. And that's it for now. I think there's a lot of information, other things like files. Yeah, if you want to, would it say add files? But if you want to like side load them, maybe this is an option. And we can watch some pretty pictures. So that's it, folks. Games. Ooh, here is going to get really interesting. So we have it for support for MAME, Neo Geo, Famicom, Super Famicom, Game Boy, Game Gear, Mega Drive, Super Famicom, Neo Geo, PlayStation. And we're having here the collection. And I'm guessing this is just the favorite list that you can make. Okay, first off, let's try just a basic game. I just wanted to test out the D-pad. So far, it's good when it comes to emulation quality. Yeah, of course, I'm, I'm using the down button. Oh. So the floating D pad isn't quite interesting, D pad, and it seems to be working just fine. It works just excellent. Oh, damn, this guy. Also, moving around works very well. For people who find it interesting, so we're having the option to, when you're pressing select start, go back to the menu. But before we're going back, we have the option to make a quick load, quick save, restart, but also change the input settings. So that, in my opinion, is quite interesting. But let's go to the main menu. Oh boy, so when you're playing a shmup that is basically for the vertical screen, oh, that looks so hideous. So the next thing that we're going to do, we're going to go back to the menu, choose the original expert ratio, and let's see how it will look then. Because this is just, in my opinion, unplayable. Oh, oh man, no, this is really bad. Let's go to settings, display, equal proportion. In other words, expert ratio, yep, okay, let's go all the way back and let's boot up the game again. Ah, this looks way better. But there is, by the way, no option for switching it to vertical mode. Fun fact, like this controller also has the option to make a turbo function. Let's see if this is true. Yep, indeed. Oh man, turbo function controller is just perfect for a game like this and also the Game Gear games and the handheld games will look way better than we having like a stretch full screen Oh, 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 but still, man, it, oh, 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 oh. this game on a big screen, it looks really horrible. It doesn't get any better. But also, like, it's pretty cool to see, like, these games are running very good. You don't see them very often, or you need to get yourself, like, an Emmy Alex system. Super Stabber! Mm, 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 mm. Ooh, stereo sound is here. Oh. All the buttons are here. Sounds nice. Sounds very good. And I can say that this game sounds amazing. No hiccups whatsoever. Of 
Okay, so for the final test, let's play a PlayStation 1 game because it supports it. There is no Dreamcast, no PlayStation Portable. PlayStation is the high system that we can get, or the latest system, depends how you look at it. I mean more like... The more like the most demanding. Let me hear some hiccups. I'm getting my ass kicked over here. Not this time. Lay down. Besides some minor hiccups I did see. Seems to be running just fine. Lay down rock. I stay down. Ooh. Here we can see them. Oof. One thing is for sure, it struggles with PlayStation. Alright, so this is what you're going to get with this new Pow Kitty device. So let's talk about the horrible PlayStation smelly chemical controllers. I must say they are wide, lightweighted, there is no rumble function, it's so basic as it can be. The D-pad, oh man, I love this D-pad. The floating D-pad plays so nice, fighting games, whatever, doesn't matter. It plays fantastic. The turbo function for shmups, it works very well. You can clear your button if you set it a turbo button to an, or a turbo function to a certain button. But in the end, like the controllers, yeah, I do fancy these things. Okay guys, so another 4K stick bites the dust. And I can say that this thing didn't really surprise me. Yeah, the interface is very familiar to me because Pow Kitty is using it in different devices when it comes to handheld, but also like mini arcade machines. It's not that bad. It does have a support like mini system. I don't see very often like Game Gear, stuff like that. I do like it. The emulation of the low end stuff does run very good, but PlayStation did struggle. But on overall, this is the performance what you're going to get. Let me know what you think of this. I want to thank you for watching. Consider subscribing. Hit that little bell. And it would be great to have you here in the Wicked family because that means I will see you in the next video.